This is probably one of the toughest things I've ever done in my entire life. But I know it's right. Um, Because I'm not a quitter. But I'm not the right leader for this council anymore. And I'm I'm concerned where the city is going. Because this is simple math. And we're not doing very well on the test. But I can tell that really I am not the right person. And I'm a busy guy. I've always believed in making sacrifices for public service. Um, And I love Clearwater. And I love some of the things we've gotten done. I think Imagine's going to be phenomenal. Uh, I think Ms. Poyer's going to do a great job as city manager. But in good conscience, for my family, for my own health and other things, I can't remain the mayor. Uh, I would highly recommend you appoint Hoyt uh, for the interim. At least he knows the city. You're going to have to appoint somebody who doesn't want to be uh, the next mayor. And I know this is shocking, but I just, I'm the wrong guy right now. And um, I just called my wife. She's shocked. Um, And I don't ever quit anything. But it's been more and more obvious to me that as much as I love the city and as much as I want to stick around for some of the things that are going to occur over the next couple months, I simply am not the right person to be here anymore. And so I wish all of you the best. Uh, I like you all and enjoy your company in different ways. We don't always agree on things. Um, But I want to thank our staff. You all are phenomenal. I think you are first class people who are incredibly dedicated uh, to the city and what we do. And you all deliver services on a daily basis in a way that is unlike anybody else. I've never lost faith in our staff. We always have bumps in the road. And as people say, if it weren't for people, everything would be easy our citizens, and everybody else. I will say one thing, Mr. Haluba, you got your wish. Um, So thank you all, and God bless you in this city. I wish you all the best. Thank you for all you've been to me.